Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 1823 as a special dedication to T. I've got 30 moves and I've got to collect 18 yellow candies. I can tell this is a hard level because I've got a purple background and a skull. And the reason I'm dedicating this to T is this is such a hard level, I think it's more than just the regular hard, that the last time I played it I used boosters. And I thought the most efficient way was to use the golden spaceship boosters because they were replenishable. But now that has dried up and most of the folks I know, including me, we don't have the, that golden spaceship anymore. So now I have to try to solve this maybe without boosters or with different boosters. We'll take a look. So I need to get the licorice unlocked. Then I need to activate these lucky candies. They'll turn into yellow because they always correspond directly to order fulfillment. And then I have to collect those yellow. I've got licorice twirls in the way. I've got these licorice locks. I've got a magic mixer for every three turns that I take that I don't strike this, it's going to spew something out at me. But if I can strike it, it will be a help. It will explode and it'll help to take out part of this cake bomb. And if I can take out part of this cake bomb, it takes off a layer of everything. So I'm going to work on that, but I don't know how quick this is going to be because, like I said, if I take three turns and I don't strike this, it's going to spew something at me. And this is not looking like, looking like a great setup, so there we go already. I've gotten struck. Okay, I could make a stripe this way. I'm not going to. What I'm going to do is drop the green down so it strikes this. It depends on the level, but we normally have to hit it anywhere from three to six times. Indirectly works with stripes, too. So look at this, hitting it again with stripes. I know I could have also made the stripe hit here, and that might have been a better choice, but we'll just have to wait and see. Like I said, this is our strategy development phase. Okay, so now we have to get down here. We've got one left. It's going to be tricky. You know, if I could, and this is a long shot, but if I could create a color bomb, color bomb combo, what it would do is it would take this out, plus it would take out the licorice locks and then when it takes this out this would then activate all of these they would turn yellow i would be done immediately here's a question why do i only have to collect 17 now wasn't that 18 a moment ago this may be a glitched level maybe it was always 17 i'm not great with numbers but oh it seems like a strange number to have to collect so I'm wondering if there's a glitch. Sometimes when we send off special combos, we get extra things happening. No, it's still 17, so maybe it was always 17. Okay, so now I have to decide. The licorice is gone. So is it more beneficial to work here directly or to work over here? I kind of like what's happening over here. Oh, but we don't get any more Lucky Candies. So we fairly well have to take out almost all of these. And now we're stuck. The patterns don't go. But that's okay. I'm learning how the board operates. So if I don't make it this time, and I don't think I will, I'll be better prepared for the next opportunity. I saw that special. The problem is I'm trying to work lower to the ground, and I had so few moves. All right. If you just want to see me beat this instead of seeing my strategy development, then I just advanced to the last probably two to three minutes of the recording. Otherwise, stick around and we'll see how we can get this done. I'm not getting down here very quickly at all. So that's a pain. I take out a licorice. That's nice. Whew, let's see. I like getting over to the edge. Remember, it's hard to take out that side there. I could make this stripe, but it's likely to get covered over. I'm just going to hit this instead directly. I will make this wrapped candy now because I have a little bit of time to interact with the board and try to get things to happen here. Yikes. Well, this will help, and hopefully it's enough to explode this. Look, there we go. Okay, so that's pretty nice. I've got 15 moves left, and these are unwrapped. I've already learned that working here directly isn't necessarily the best thing. I don't think I can put two color bombs together right now on this board. 
wrapped I have to pair it with a stripe in order to get it to work but if I can it takes out a swath of three by three actually I've got way too much purple in here I'm getting rid of it and positioning this one closer to the center and then what I can't get this to work together if I take out a color it would concentrate everything down but none of the colors I want to remove are the ones that are available what if I took out all blue from the board it would open two of those green would open up five purple I don't want to waste this or should I try to set it with a special I think actually I'm going to take out all green because that's going to concentrate the colors down and color bombs beget color bombs into other specials. Okay, do I want to move in here before I do anything? Nope, nothing's set up now. So I'll make this move low to the ground. That actually created another yellow for me. If I could get another striped wrapped combo, that would be handy. Okay, here we go. We got closer on this one. Taking this out isn't going to help. I've only got two moves. That would give me three. Just trying to make a cascade here. All right, so we got closer. So we know we're on the right track. I made some better decisions. I probably got a little bit more luck. Let me pause the recording and I'll meet you back here when I've got more lives. All right, so let's take a look at this. I could make a stripe here but it's probably just going to get covered over. I think what I'm going to do is move the red and that's going to concentrate the purple down. There we go. I like that. And now I strike this. And I can't seem to strike it again, so I'm going to use these two together to hit over here and to hit this, which will open up a bit. And then it'll also change the board a bit for me. I could open here, but I'm instead going to hit this directly. I could make a stripe, but I'm going to instead hit this directly. And I really do think that's a better opportunity. I could do this, and it is aimed over here, but I'm going to work on the cake bomb. Because I couldn't strike that directly, and it was going to be, oh gosh, a bit painful otherwise. I could try to take out blue or purple, but inefficiency of moves means that if I can just hit this, that'll take out the most prevalent color, which was red for me anyway. And I think that was a better way to approach it. So now I have 22. That's so much better. I take that out. I know I said I was going to work over here, but I think I want to do a combination. I don't have a lot of red on the board. What if I take out red? The red and the orange seem very combined over here. Uh. I'm going to do this and take out the red and the orange and try to get things to work together because of that. So there's something that worked now. Now I don't want a whole bunch of purple in the way. Ooh, I think I'm moving too quickly. I need to slow down, contemplate my moves. I wonder if I could get a green through there. No. Oh, these moves are just dwindling down so fast. Okay, let's open that up right away. There we go. We got something good. If I do this, I've just got too much purple on the board, so I'm going to take this out first, and then I do this, and it preserved my opportunity. I'm going to go ahead and make another stripe so that when I send this off, it'll send this off. I'm not going to do another, another one, though I could. I'm risking this every time I don't take that move. But I still have six moves left. I'm going to capitalize on the number of moves I have and do this. Okay, got it. All right, I have to get this set off. How can I get one of these orange down here without moving everything else? I know, I could have made another stripe. I chose not to, and I hope that wasn't a bad choice. I don't want to be getting rid of these orange, but I think, there we go, got it. Oh, that was a close one, and I probably could have been more elegant on that last part, but I wanted to show you 
hopefully how to do this without boosters. I was able to get it done, I don't know, was it three or four attempts to get that finished without boosters. It's possible. It's just a lot easier with boosters. Whether you have the golden spaceship and you can use that or the build a bot, which I don't have either of those, or you want to bring in other boosters, the uh, things that I would recommend probably are a color bomb and a striped raft and try to get those two together so you can kind of open up that right hand side as quickly as possible and give yourself the best opportunity to work on the left hand side with as greatest number of moves possible. If this was helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thanks for watching.